There are two features on Fast Guitars builds that we often get a lot of questions about. The first is our unique approach to a neck joint, and the second is our truss rod adjustment. Typically, bolt-on necks are held onto the body of a guitar using four or more screws. They are typically a little more chunky than neck through or set neck guitars. Fast Guitars has a very unique bolt-on neck joint. On a fast guitar build, the neck is attached to the body using two machine screws. This may seem a little weird at first, but it is actually more secure than the traditional bolt-on method. The neck has a tapered joint that actually slides into the body of the guitar and is then bolted on. Because of this, the fast bolt-on neck joint actually feels more like a neck through. The neck has two threaded steel inserts, which is joined to the body with oversized machine screws. This is a much stronger joint than the typical bolt-on neck joint. A typical bolt-on neck joint uses wood screws that thread directly through the neck wood. The steel-to-steel -steel connection won't fatigue over time or with repeated removal like wood screws will. Our neck joint also does not have any paint or glue to interfere with the wood-to-wood -wood contact of the neck and the body, which provides more sustain. Typically, truss rod nuts are located where the headstock of a guitar meets the neck. Because of this, a large amount of wood must be removed from the headstock in order to make room for an area for the truss rod key to be inserted for adjustments. This creates a major weak point in the neck design, and can result in a more easily breakable headstock design. Fast Guitars does things differently. All Fast Guitars have spoke nut truss rods where the adjustment nut is located at the heel end of the neck. In addition to this, the truss rod adjustment nut is located between frets instead of at the end of the fretboard. This makes the access point even more ergonomic, and it allows binding to be applied along the entire neck of the guitar. This also allows the truss rod adjustment to have a more optimal range, as it is moved farther away from the heel of the guitar. 